we have is uh, roughly a 36,000 ton pile of uh, stone we use for FGD. And with the eight feeders we use as a control method of regulating how many tons we run per hour on our belts. The best thing, the thing I like the most about them is the low profile of the feeders, the lack of space they take up in our tunnels to leave us more room, you know, to work and and the, the lack of maintenance. I mean, they're basically maintenance free for the year we've run them. We've had no trouble with them at all. I know that we have very little maintenance that we've had to do on the feeders. Uh, I'm certainly impressed with how we, uh, we run upwards of 3,500 tons an hour of stone up the belt, and uh, between the eight feeders, between the eight Erie's feeders, we really haven't had an issue. Um, we put the magnet in under part of our new construction on the project, and the magnets work great. It's called, you know, everything from the very minute metals all the way up to a three-quarter inch plate that's got run through our crusher. And it actually saved us a lot of downtime when it caught one of our toggle plates off our crusher. The suspended magnet's been in operation approximately 30 years. We use it for our, to take metal off our belt to, that we feed our sand plant with to keep the metal from getting through our material on our sand plant and causing further damage. It's done an exceptional job since we've had it. The feeders, you have eight feeders, control them from 10% all the way up to 100%. Everything's controlled here in the control room. So you have pretty much all control what's in the tunnel on how much tonnage you want coming out. 